Hi, this is Shelly with the Gray Wren Sewing and Crafts on Facebook. We also have the Gray Wren Sewing and Crafts Boutique on Etsy, where we do sell our basketballs. But if you want to try to make one, follow along with me. We use the Wilson Street Shot Basketball, the official size. And the key is, is to make sure it says composite leather and that it does have the black banding because you're going to be peeling off the panels to make this basketball. For this project, you're going to need a heat gun, um, some small scissors, an X-Acto knife, um, some type of a scraping um, unit right here, and then um, contact cement and a brush for your contact cement. You will also need embroidery material such as a hoop, thread, um, water soluble stabilizer, and sticky stabilizer. And of course, an embroidery machine. Next, you take your X-Acto knife and you get it so that you start peeling up the edge, just like this, and you get it under. Then you take your heat gun and you turn it on and you keep getting it hot. You have to be careful because you can scorch your ball, but you just hold it over your heat gun and then you just keep peeling back. And it takes a while. I think this is the hardest part. Now I have both panels off, and I think it's important to show you um, which panels I took off. So here's the front of the ball, and then directly across from it. It's ideal to take these two panels off, but I have a barcode back here. So I had to take these two off, and it won't matter because when it's sitting on a shelf, uh, because it's a trophy ball, this is how it's going to sit anyway. So they're not going to know that it's not directly across unless they take the ball down and start playing with it. So um, one thing that I forgot to show you that I wanted to make sure that I did, and I've already embroidered my panel, but this is an important piece. When we are taking this panel off and we come to this area right here, there is a block line right here and a black line right here. And I make sure that we draw a black line on our, our panel before we start pulling it the rest of the way off. So not only do we draw a black line, but then we also put a T. It's hard to see because I've already embroidered it. But I put a T for the top and also a underneath this panel here it says P2 but I can still see it so this is my second panel that I took off and you can see my center line this shows me where to put it on my ball so before you peel the whole panel off when you get to the center make sure you draw a line according to the lines on your ball here and then label P one or two and label the top of each panel. Now there are two routes you can take next to embroider your panel. You can either draw crosshairs on your panel and lay the um, panel on the crosshairs of your embroidery hoop or you can go to this um, Facebook site. It's called Embroidering on Footballs and join and um, go into their files and locate the free templates there. That's how I got started. So I wanted to give credit where credit is due. I have Embroidery Wear um, from EmbroiderWearSoftware.com. So the, the file that I was just talking about from the Facebook group, 
I uploaded a single file and then I duplicated it and um, I have an 8x8 frame. So these are my two foot or excuse me two basketball panels. And then um, I digitize uh, the stuff that goes on each panel. Um, this is the lettering that comes within the program. I love this program, so uh, check it out, embroiderwaresoftware.com. So right now I'm embroidering the template. Then you take your your panel and remember the the lines that I um, had drawn on the back. I match it up to the template here, and I set my panel right where those lines are, and I have to make sure that my center is on the center line here, and then it lines up perfectly. Now, of course, I've already embroidered this one, but I did back up some steps to uh, show you, just in case you needed help with embroidering. So, um... Um, once I uh, put the panel on, then I put WSS, it's water soluble stabilizer, on top and I clip the ends. It's really important not to flip that end under and clip it tight because you might catch it over here with your embroidery depending on how far over you embroider. So I just leave them hang. So this WSS is real important because um, it helps keep the uh, lettering on top of the vinyl. So right now you're putting on the glue. So here we're putting the contact cement directly onto the ball while this is starting to set up over here. And we usually wait just a couple minutes after we're done with the ball until it starts to feel tacky. Right now he's matching up the center line and rolling it onto the ball and going down to the other center line. And he starts in the center. And then he works his way down to the ends. use this to push it into the areas but most of the time it works just with his hands this is my son-in-law Mike say hi Mike hi Mike and his wife own the gray wren I'm just the free help <laughs> me too <laughs> When he gets to the end, he usually has a little bit because of a stretch, and we just trim it off. Notice how that kind of sticks over there. So then he'll take these little scissors and just trim, following the line of the black um, banding. And here's the finished product. It turned out really nice. If you like what you see, but you're having trouble doing it on your own, feel free to visit us at Facebook, The Gray Wren, or Etsy, The Gray Wren Boutique. We will be glad to help you out. Just give us a call. If you like what you see, subscribe, like, and comment down below. If there are more videos, I'd be happy to make them for you. Just let me know. Bye now.